motherfucking hacks radio, bitch. That is the shit that makes your ears bleed in the stream that the FBI listens to, loves to listen to. I'm all tongue-tied. It must be Wednesday. It's time for the Hacker News Update. First, big shout-out to Mr. E and the crew at HacksRadio.com. First up, let's see, new flashback malware variant found in the wild. New flashback Trojan has been discovered that infects Macs without prompting the user for a password. If you haven't uploaded Java on your Mac or disabled it entirely, you could be a victim. The new variant, dubbed Flashback.s, is actively being distributed in the wild, taking advantage of a Java vulnerability that Apple has already patched. Flashback S drops two files in the user's home folder, then deletes cached Java files to avoid detection. However, the researchers did not indicate what this new variant was specifically designed to do or how many computers might be infected. Next up, VMware source code leaked by anonymous hackers. Outstanding VMware on Tuesday announced that a single file from its ESX server hyperservice source code had been posted online and it held out the possibility that more proprietary files could be leaked in the future. The fact that the source code may have been publicly shared does not necessarily mean that there is any increased risk to VMware customers, VMware said in a statement. Hardcore Charlie claimed to have downloaded some 300 megabytes of VMware source code. Anonymous uh, IRC tweeted, Oops, VMware source leaked. Not good. This was posted on Pastebin. To anonymous contributors, may the Pirate Bay always sail strong. Moving along, Google's paying you hackers a little more money now. Google raises the hacker's bounty to $20,000. Google on Monday raised to $20,000 its bounty on software bugs that hackers can exploit for cyber attacks in the Internet Giant's online services. The maximum reward for exposing a vulnerability that would let an intruder's code get up to mischief in a Google data center was ramped up from $3,133 payout set when the bounty program was launched in November of 2010. Uh, remote code flaws found in Google's web apps can also be rewarded $20,000. The term remote code execution refers to the most serious category of vulnerabilities, those which can be exploited uh, when exploited, allow an attacker to hijack the system and or plant malware on a machine. So you hackers get busy. There's money to be made with Google. Next up, cyber attack on the Iranian oil ministry's computer network. Outstanding. Like we need anything else affecting oil prices. Uh, the Iranian oil ministry computer network came under attack from hackers and a computer virus prompting the Islamic Republic to disconnect the country's main oil export terminal from the Internet as a preventative measure. A semi-official news agency reported on Monday. The Mir News Agency, which is a semi-official arm of the Iranian government, reported Monday that the country's principal oil terminal in Karg Island was disconnected from the Internet as part of the response to the attacks. Email systems associated with the targets were also pulled offline. Iranian officials said the virus attack, which began in earnest Sunday afternoon, had not affected oil production or exports since the industry is still primarily mechanical and does not rely on the Internet. Officials said they were disconnecting the oil terminals and possibly other installations in an effort to combat the virus. And last but not least, hackers defaced TNT Parliament website to warn about security holes. The government parliamentary website, ttparliament.org, was taken offline. This was on Monday after a computer software hacker apparently breached the security codes of the site and left a mischievous message announcing the security leak. Under the code name Codex, the hacker reassured the parliamentary site administrator that all the files and system database remained intact. Greets to admin your website hack due to security vulnerabilities. Patch your website. Keep it updated. Don't worry, all your files and databases are still here. This is a warning what other hackers can do to your website. Keep it in mind. Codex. That's outstanding. Very lulzical. We'll see you again on Friday. I'm sure there'll be more to report. 